fully trained, ready to serve and protect. Um, I just wanted to talk about when a dog is asked to bark and command, um, whether there should be grand gestures from the decoy uh, to stimulate the animal's behaviour. I don't believe there should be, um, because the reality is someone that is not looking to challenge a dog, which is 100% of people, unless uh, you know, there's some type of medical condition, um, they'll be non-confrontational. Now, if confrontational was the modus operandi for training, surely that would be the picture, right? For the behavior. So therefore, when we're cracking the whips, which we do, and we'll show you the differences, when someone isn't doing that in the real world, the picture has changed, right? Therefore, the dog's behavior is clearly gonna change. So I've got a decoy over here. Um, sat down, there's no real stimulus, there's no whips, no, no usual attire. I'm going to do a little bit of immediate foods. Let's show. Flats. Make eye contact with the dog and then lift it in. And we keep the dog calm because he sat down. Not a problem, right? So our job now is to start educating this dog that when we ask you, when we give you a command to bark, we want you to bark with very little stimulus. So um, we're going to reduce the stimulus to almost zero and zero if possible. So, good boy. Stable balance, first. Flats. Are you good? You all right? Are you good? No problem. Yeah? Muscle. You'll notice, even with Smokey, um, for a moment he's barked and says, well, where, well, how come he hasn't escaped or shouted or, you know, what's going on? This isn't normal.
He's I'm passing. Not. I'm not looking. Just swear at me. Fuck off! <laughs> Nine! Plus! Ah! 